Okay. Hey, uh, <clears throat> what's happening for him? Still saying that. Hey, this video is, uh, just kind of, uh, showing off, actually. I bought a KWA, uh, HK, it's actually branded, uh, through a company called Unimarex. They hold the HK license, I think. Uh, anyway, it's a KWA gas blowback, uh, HK MP7. And I've done some stuff to it. I've had the gun for about a month, but I'm going to go play with it this weekend. Team Therapist is hosting a game at a local uh, field I play at called Mr. Paintball. But I removed the front folding foregrip, and I applied one of these Magpul uh, angled foregrips. I think it's the AFG-2. I put some uh, different rails on this side just to give my hand a better grip when I'm holding it. My hand sits a lot nicer across a wider rail. Uh, I also put this rubber covering. It's like I guess it's a rail protector. I don't know. The more accessories, the funner, right? I also kind of modified the front end to accept this flash hider. Uh, and you can see it's kind of like flush fit all the way around. And... That was a real bitch because I had to get another rail for the AFG2 on the bottom because I just cut the folding foregrip off. It, it's actually molded into the body. I made just a, a, a flat plate here to attach uh, the laser push button. I got one of these little green laser jobs. It's pretty bright. This is daylight. Um, cat likes to chase it, as you can see. Go get it. Go get it. Don't worry, it's not loaded, y'all. Okay, anyway. Um, what else? Oh, they make a uh, they make a, a, a stock. The, the stock that it comes with has two positions, in and then all the way out, like that. But uh, they make a stock arm it's a set of rails they're really expensive though but they give you three positions so what i did is just look at how the mechanism works right here and on the opposite side as well and i ground down uh my own rails the stock rails i ground them down to work with the mechanisms that are already here so now it's essentially the same thing it's at three point i get a middle locking position um i also added a point of contact right there for the uh, harness that I use. So it's like a sling adapter. There's these really tiny holes right there and right there and on all four sides of the weapon actually. Um, right there and right there. Where I, I guess it's some type of sling attachment point. I just didn't trust the polymer that the body's made out of with the weight I'm adding because the lasers, I mean it's still really nice and light but the laser adds some weight um, got in my hand. I mean, I could really hold it just like a pistol, straight out. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm really, really happy with it. I'm excited to go use it tomorrow. But I wanted to do a test, uh, rate of fire, and um, what do you call it? Uh, feet per second. I or uh, yeah, yeah, FPS. It's been a while, man. I haven't played in about a year. It's probably been a little over a year since I've actually been out on the field. But I never get rid of my stuff. I always just kind of bring it out and modify it a little for what I want to use. So uh, This was shooting earlier in the 400s, but it was super cold. Now the magazine's warmed up because I've got some rounds fired through it. Uh, it should be a little lower. Like I, We were looking here before. It was... 910 rounds per minute at 377.5 feet per second average. These are 2.0 BBs. Um, let's try this again. We'll just set that there. Lil and I'm trusting you not to go outside. You understand? Don't go outside. Okay. So, I'm gonna reset the chrono. And I've got, 
I've got a few rounds left. So we'll probably get an accurate reading. All right. Here we go. Ah, oh, and I got an error. We're going to have to reload. <clears throat> One thing I did come up with is uh, to hang a pouch on my back upside down and run a propane tank with a hose out. I'm probably going to have to coil most of this up in my dump pouch. But then, essentially, I just have a hose that I can grab any time from my gear if I'm playing a long extended game. I'm having a lot of difficulty, guys. Uh, we'll see how that works. I don't know. The smallest I could get was an 8-inch hose. 8 inch, fuck it, 8 feet. So what I might have to do is eventually shorten it. I mean, we'll see. If I coil it up and just run my dump pouch on my hip the whole time, that'll be fine. But um, I also picked up one of these new KWA M4 magazine loaders. It's shaped like an M4 mag. It doesn't only load M4 mags. But uh, it's got a really nice and smooth action on it. It doesn't have the little button that pops up all the time and gets bent when you're running around in your gear. It's uh, pretty decent, although KWA shit's fucking expensive. So, okay, let's try that again. I'm gonna fire a couple in semi. Just to see. 383. 381. Alright. We go to full auto. It's giving me an error every fucking time. There we go. As I'm losing gas, I'm losing it, uh, pressure, I can tell. And we're out. And it aired on me every time. So, I guess this is another pointless video on my channel. I think the neighbors get pissed. It's really loud. <laughs>